Hey guys, this is Fuberduge, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Generations Scourge. Now, I've had this figure for quite a while, and I've finally decided to get him out to review him. To get started, obviously, he's in kind of a hybrid shuttle thing. It, it looks pretty cool. I mean, I'm not, like, totally against it. I still like the original design better, but it's not too bad. Taking a look at it, it's got really nice blue in here. Um, it's kind of, It might be harder to see the white on camera, and I apologize for that, but... As you can see with my hands covered, it does look fairly nice. The white is kind of a dull white, but it's not too bad. You got a nice Decepticon logo right there. Um, this is his head, but I suppose this could be like a gun thing. And coming around to the back, you got really nothing. Everything kind of hides fairly well. Um, you got the landing gears here, and you can fold them in just by closing off, just like so, just like that. So, yeah, that's about it for the plane mode. So, we'll do size comparisons now, setting him there. Here he is with a Combiner Wars figure, and he might be a bit easier to see, maybe not, but um, his white looks more like my background, which kind of stinks, but yeah, there they are, there he is next to a Combiner Wars figure, so yeah, they're both deluxes. In robot mode, they're around the same size. Here he is, next to Classics Ramjet, they're about the same size again. And here he is, next to his buddy Cyclonus. Look pretty good looking team right there. I do actually like the way that they look together. Um, yeah, they're always kind of together in season three of the original G1 series. So that's pretty cool. So taking off Cyclonus, now we can get into the transformation. So what I like to do first is his weapon. He does have weapon storage, which is in his wings. So I, I like to open these up. You just open them up like so. I opened it the wrong way. But anyway, you open them up and the gun was like stored in there. I think that's really cool how they store that. So just taking that out. Um, close that back up and then he has another weapon in here and we'll get into the weapons later um, when we get him into robot mode so you can kind of move his arms out of the way or what will become his arms um, everything just kind of turns into a floppy mess um, this untabs and just kind of sits down there like that and then you fold up this blue tab which connects to his legs untab his legs and just pull like this and his legs will come out like that and then you can turn them like this. Take his foot. It's kind of on an accordion joint. You accordion it down like so. And there you have his legs done. You can take his head, rotate it up like this. If it will. Sometimes it doesn't want to. I'll just go to that later. You take this piece back here and you rotate it all the way around on a it's like a triple hinge almost. Yeah, it is a triple hinge. Then I think no. This isn't supposed to go up yet. Now we can rotate this. There we go. And you can see his head comes up like that. And then you take this, you push it all the way up, and that tabs into place. This just folds up, and then you rotate this. And you can rotate his legs around to accommodate that. And it was down like that. You want to fold this flap up so it just kind of sits against his butt up there. So you take his arms. His arms actually transform really cool. Um, you detach both like this on either arm and then you pull the whole thing out and then you rotate it and you push it back in and it this blue thing should clip on and then you rotate it like this you rotate the arm and then there's a little piece down here in this gap you can pull this out to reveal his fist same thing on the other arm just pull it out rotate it close it back up rotate it again rotate the elbow pull out the fist and there we have his arms done. And he's almost in robot mode fully. Um, mine is kind of weird. It's supposed to compress and kind of peg in because there are holes here and here. And there are tabs on here and here. And they're supposed to tab in, but they really just don't like to. So for mine, I just kind of hook it over and it stays like that. And then you take this and you fold it in on a double hinge like so. And those kind of clip into place. And that's technically how the instructions tell you to transform him. I like to open this up and kind of flare it out so he looks more G1 accurate. Like so. And I just like the way it looks. He actually kind of looks like his old G1 self. So that is the transformation for Generation Scourge. And I actually can pull up his head a bit more, just like that. There we go. And my head's loose, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, whatever. So... There we have Scourge, all transformed, 
and in his robot mode. And I actually think it, they did a fairly decent job with um, this robot mode. I think it looks pretty uh, faithful to the original design. Nice head sculpt, that looks really nice. Um, he does have blue eyes, which I think is kind of strange. Uh, Decepticons are supposed to have red eyes, but it's not that big of a deal to me. Really good Decepticon logo, it's tampographed on there. I really like the paint apps. I like um, how they put the red on. He always had like red fingernails, it was really weird. But I like how they did that, and then they gave him red accents on his knees. Just overall, really cool, really nice detail on this figure. Um, he, he actually has some heft to him. Um, as you know, the new Combiner Wars figures are not really heavy. Um, they feel really light. I feel like that when he came out, which is like when the whole Classics line was happening, that was like the heyday of Transformers. That was like when when like all the good figures were coming out, and they weren't like lifeless lumps of plastic, and they actually had heft to them, and they were made with a lot more, I'd say, creative engineering. But anyway, back to Scourge. He does have these weapons here. You can rotate this piece out, and he can hold them in either hand, like so. So you can hold it like that. And then this, I just let him fall backwards. You can take this, and then this piece rotates like that, and you can hold it in this hand. So he has two weapons, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, he, he can have double trouble with his blaster guns. And something that's even cooler is you can take this off, and if you rotate this back down, it has a clip right here, and it clips onto the top piece right there. And now he has an even cooler gun. I just think that's really cool how they did that. See, that's what Combiner War should have done with, like, the weapons. But, of course, they gave them pretty lame. Well, the weapons themselves aren't bad, but they just, uh, they just don't fit with the figure very well. So, anyway, um, yeah, there he is with his gun. Really cool. So, for articulation, his head is on a ball joint, so you get um, pretty good range of movement there. He can look up. He can actually tilt his head, sort of. Um, his arms will rotate like this. Um, they rotate like so. And then he has an elbow swivel. He bends about 90 degrees. Um, his wrists do rotate. Um, his waist rotates, which is nice. Um, he has a ball joint at the thigh, and he rotates at the thigh. He bends a little more than 90 degrees, and he has toe and ankle pivot, which is nice. That's what I'm talking about. Like, this thing has much more articulation than the Combiner Wars figures had. I mean, he even has, like, ankle pivots, and the other guys didn't. And wrist rotation, which is something that they don't have. So... Yeah, I, I just really like getting figures from this Classics line because they're really cool. So, now, for these size comparisons, straightening his head here. Here he is with Quick Slinger. And they're like exactly the same height. So yeah, he definitely feels heavier than, heavier than Quick Slinger. So, yeah, definitely the superior figures in the old lines. Here he is with Classics Ramjet. And yeah, I will be reviewing Ramjet pretty soon here. So yeah, again, they're both classics. I really like the way that the classics figures are, especially this mold. I think that this mold was really good. So taking off Ramjet. And finally, here he is with his buddy Cyclonus, who's actually taller. Quite significantly taller, about a head taller or a head and a half. So yeah, they look pretty good. I always thought Cyclonus was supposed to be slightly bigger than Scourge. Yeah, really good. I I really like what um, Hasbro did with these guys, and um, even some of the repaints that Takara did with their Henke series. Just over, I just really like those old figures. So, taking off Cyclonus, that's about it for this review, I'd say. So, if you want this guy, I'll put a link in the description below. I'm sure he's somewhere on the internet, and if you can't find him in my link in the description, then search eBay. But anyway, that's about all there is to say. So... This is the classic Scourge figure, and this is Fuberduge. I'd invite you to like this video, also subscribe if you feel led to do so, and check out some of my other Transformers reviews if you also want to see them. And also, I have a few stop motion videos on my channel, and you can just search my channel, they're pretty easy to find. So, this is Fuberduge saying, keep playing guys.